So today we're called out to locate a water line. The client has two separate buildings on his property. One building has water, the other building doesn't. So what we're here to do today is find out where the water line is and if it's live, if it's been disconnected under the ground at any point, we can find that out as well. And basically just mark it out so he has uh, knowledge enough to move forward with this project. So we're going to clip a um, transmitter onto here, throw a signal in the line, and then try and find out where that signal goes. So we've figured out that there's no copper water line or conductive water line going from this house here to the barn over there. Our primary reason for being here is to identify a water main from the barn to here so that they can connect onto it and have a water service. We do know for a fact that there's plastic line coming up in the barn, at which point our next step is to disconnect that plastic line and feed a conductor into the plastic line, coming back towards the house in hopes of identifying the location of that line. So right now we're putting tracer gas into the line to find out where the end of this plastic pipe is. I've got a special device from Severin, the company from Germany is fantastic, that will sniff out where the end of this pipe is. So at least I can give that information to the homeowner and they can maybe connect onto there and bring the line into the building here. So 240. One thing I did discover on this wonderful search of mine was that the old water lines coming from the barn and from the hydrant all go towards this other street. This whole area was built up back in the 70s. The meter pit has been discontinued and been covered up and buried and the service is no longer present. So the information I'm providing is going to help him decide whether he wants to go that route, tie in a new service, have a separate residence, a separate meter and a separate bill, or connect this service to the current line that connects to the city.